cannellini bean and tomato ragu. Saucy, tasty and very easy to make. The full recipe gives you five full meals all in one box. Debbie's going to take us through how to make two servings. It's going to be fun. Hi, I'm Debbie and I'm going to be showing you how to cook the cantellini bean and tomato ragu, also known as cool beans. First you'll get this box and it'll come with the recipe and it's got all that you need really. And what you don't have in this box but you're also going to need in this recipe is a tablespoon of sugar and a 400 millilitres of water or two and a bit of these. Right, so who cries when they cut onions? Me? Yes, not at the camera. Well, a trick that I found worked for me is go your magical magical friend. I'm not saying which magical friend supply these. Okay. Next. Peppers. Quite fine. You don't have to do this, but I like when I'm prepping. Put everything in a bowl. So when it comes to putting it in a pan, I can just throw it all in. I'm really bad at chopping fine. So if you are too, cheese grater. Right, I've nearly grated all this carrot. Like I said before, it says finely chopped, but I'm a bit rubbish when it comes to finely chopping. So I'm going to add the last of the carrot into this bowl here. Personally, how I prefer to do prep. And with the leftover, I'm just going to cut chunk to it roughly because I can. It doesn't say anywhere in the recipe that I can't. But you can variate this recipe. With the one I'm doing right now, it's all vegetable, but you can add stuff to it. You can add bacon to it, or pancetta, which is basically Italian bacon, but thinner and crispier and tastier. Cut up a piece of garlic. Now, I've already done two, and they're in the bowl. So you need to add three to this recipe. Right, garlic's in, and we're going to take some oil, but the rape seed is over there, and I'm going to add this all to the pan and let it soften for about five minutes or until the onion starts to soften and go a light golden brown. I've got my rape seed here and I've put my pan on. It's about two, but I'm going to add it up now that I'm getting near to cooking, so I'm going to put it to three on an electric hob, but if you're using gas, probably put it about half way. You'll, you'll know when you think it's right. And just a little glug there. About, they say about a tablespoon, but I like to add just a little bit more. And then you put all your pre-prepped ingredients, the onion, the peppers, the carrot, the garlic, and you just shove all that in. Getting messy, favourite bit. And scoop all that in. And you let this fry a bit for about five minutes or until the onion starts to soften and go golden brown. And don't forget to give it a bit of stir because not all your vegetables will have got to the oil at the bottom. And just keep an eye on it and let it brown. Need a bit more of a stir, that's not softening quick enough for my liking, so I'm going to put a pan lid on. 
so it steams a bit as well. Right, what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, time. You need about four sprigs, so I don't think that's a decent enough size. So, one, two, three, four. That's this open and ready. We've got our thyme ready. We've got our water ready. Let's check again on the pan. That's starting to brown quite nicely. It probably needs a few more minutes and then we're going to move on to the next stage. Right, pour in the cannellini beans. Tomato. the water away once second. Water. There we go, we should start to hear it bubble. And now get a tablespoon of sugar and add this. This will help give flavour to this and bring out the sweetness of the tomatoes. And now take your time that you've already selected and run the other way and put those leaves off and you want this all four sprigs to be in don't be shy just go for it and give that a quick stir hold it in a bit and hopefully the water will reduce and give you quite a nice tomato sauce. Put the lid on it, wipe the heat up and leave it for about 30 minutes. Means you can do a bit of washing up. So this has had 30 minutes now and it's looking lovely and gloopy, so I'm going to turn the heat off, put the lid on for a few seconds and I'm going to go do a final bit of prep, give it a quick stir around and we're going to serve. Right, so we can be fancy on the photo or you can Scoop it out a bit. Add a bit of juice to mine as well. A bit of juice and more to Jerry's. Back on the side. Right, with the basil, I like to take about two, three, four leaves and Generously just rip them up and and then just rip it a bit over and there you have it cool beans which is the cannellini with tomato ragu On the important question. Jamie, does it taste nice? Come on. Put the camera down. Well, I... And I touched my eyes one second. Ah. This is because I touched my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Have a look. Never touch your eyes when you've got onion on it because it makes you cry. <laughs> uh, cut!